Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel again tonight. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. I've been pretty busy over the last few days, so there haven't been any regular uploads. So I've got my business taken care of that I was um, working on. Just different things with work and one thing and another. So now I have a little bit more free time. I want to start doing uh, more uploads over the next few days. If this is your first time here at the channel, you're very, very welcome. And if you're returning here again as a subscriber or just someone who frequents this, this channel, you're very welcome back. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing uh, and hit the notifications button and you'll receive uh, a message whenever there's new content on the channel so you're able to follow it and you hopefully won't miss anything that would otherwise bless you. Tonight I want to look at two verses. I just want to read them from the Bible and then just talk about them. Two verses and they're from Psalm 20 and I just want to read Psalm 20 verses 1 and 2. The Bible says, The Lord hear you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you, send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you from Zion. So the Lord hear you in the day of trouble, that's number one. You know we all will face times of trouble in our, in our lives, whether we be Christians or not. And what's important is to know that when you're in trouble, that when you cry out for help or you cry out for mercy that the Lord will actually hear you. So Psalm 20 says the Lord hear you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you. The name of the God of Jacob defend you. You see Jesus Christ has the name above all names. You can read about this in Philippians chapter 2. It says, because he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, that God has given him a name which is above all names. The name of Jesus Christ, he didn't pick it himself. And the power that's associated with that name, he didn't confer it upon himself. God the Father, it says, in recognition of what Jesus did, because he humbled himself and was obedient even unto death, the death of the cross, that God has highly exalted him and given him a name above all names that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and you know at this moment in time I'm sorry to say but the name of Jesus Christ is more used as a swear word than, uh, than the name above all names his name is taken in vain People don't do anything about it on TV, on the radio, in films. His name is blasphemed and nothing is done. But there's coming a day when at that same name that is used as a blasphemous expression today, that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So that same name, the Bible says, the name of the God of Jacob, defend you, send you help from the sanctuary help from the sanctuary of God itself if you're in trouble we're a better place to receive help than from the sanctuary and strengthen you from Zion God's holy hill these are assurances that we have today as believers that if we're walking right before God if we have clean hands if we have repented from our sins and we have confessed our sins and the blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed us from all unrighteousness, the Bible says that the Lord will hear us in the day of trouble, that the name of the God of Jacob will defend us, that we will be sent help from the sanctuary and strength from Zion. So we will be heard, number one, heard. We will be defended we will be helped and we will be strengthened as believers. So let's take heart from that tonight. We know we'll be heard, we'll be helped, we'll be strengthened and we will be defended by that name above all names, which is Jesus Christ. So be blessed tonight 
and if you feel like it you can share this video tell me what your comments your thoughts are if you have any prayer requests leave them below and if you're new to the channel and you haven't already done so just introduce yourself tell us who you are and we'll pray for you and we'll keep you up in prayer in Jesus name be blessed tonight amen